What is going on everybody, it's Skills here, and today we're gonna to be talking about Ghost Recon Breakpoint and the big topic that's surrounding this game, microtransactions. And the reason why we're talking about this is because so many people are calling this game pay to win. There are just so many people, so many YouTubers, from small to big, people who aren't even playing the game, who've never even played this game, never even played Wildlands and saw how microtransactions worked in there. They're saying that this is pay to win. And let's talk about it and let me tell you why this game is not pay to win. This game is more choose the way you want to play. So right off the bat, you guys are probably saying, ah, this is probably Ubisoft paying them to say this. No, not a sponsored video. This is just my whole thought process on this pay to win, this nonsense that keeps going around. So when I think of pay to win and what most of you guys probably think of pay to win is when you buy a really good gun, you go into PVP and you're just dominating or you buy some good armor, you go into PvP, and you're like a tank. But the thing is, in Ghost Recon Breakpoint, everything is balanced really well. So no one weapon that you purchase or that you pick up in the open world is going to dominate. Headshots kill, body shots all do the same amount of damage, and armor pieces are all the same. So if you're level 30 and you're fighting a level 126, nothing is really going to change there gear score does not matter in pvp so that's just something that you guys should keep in mind when you guys are playing pvp and when you guys think of pay to win because when i think of pay to win i think of someone getting a really good weapon that you can only get randomly at like a one percent chance but you can also purchase it and then use it in pvp and it just dominates and that's more of a pay to win which you don't have in ubisoft's ghost recon breakpoint but let's also talk about this. So a lot of people are upset with the amount of transactions you can have. So let's put a little, let's think outside the box of this whole microtransactions. We're gonna go to the store right now. So there are a lot of things you can purchase in this game. The first thing we're gonna take a look at is weapon blueprints. Now weapon blueprints are pretty easy to find and you can find them all throughout Aurora, right? You can go to attachments, weapon attachments, the same thing. You can find them all throughout the map, vehicles, we normally see this in almost every single game, right? Like you can buy these customizations. We normally see this. We saw this a lot in Wildlands. You see this in Rainbow Six. So you have headgear that you can purchase. All this you can purchase emotes, weapons. Well, not weapons, but those melee weapons. So they look different. Um, I ended up purchasing this, this ghillie suit top. And that's the only item I have purchased from the store. And that's because I, I wanted it to match these pants that I got. You can buy figures. You saw it in Wildlands. So a lot of this with camos, with weapon paints, all of this that you can purchase in the store, to me, doesn't really affect the game that much, right? It doesn't really give anybody an advantage. It just gives somebody more customization if they don't have a lot of time to grind for all the blueprints, if they don't wanna have to do that and they just wanna play the game, they can. So what I want you guys to think about is, think about it this way. Say if you got a ticket to Disney World, right? Say you and your family all got tickets to Disney World. Well, that ticket gets you into the amusement park. You can get on all the rides free, right? Every single ride is free. But say you guys go into a store. Say you guys like a Mickey Mouse hat. Then you purchase that Mickey Mouse hat. Well, that's like a microtransaction, right? You're purchasing something because you want to have it. But you necessarily don't need it to enjoy the amusement park, right? I can enjoy this game without purchasing anything in the game. Now, I chose to buy a ghillie suit top because I wanted to match these pants that I had, but technically, I didn't need to do that. If I want to buy any of these masks right here, the same thing. If you buy one of those masks, is that really going to make you better in the game? No, but at the end of the day, it's just an option for you. Like if some people might not have the time to play as much as you and they say, you know what? Like I want to just have all the attachments so I can enjoy the guns in the game without really having to farm. For me, I think that's something I like about this game. I take the time to go get all the attachments. I take the time to get the weapons, the blueprints. I like doing that. It gives me something to grind for while I'm leveling up my character. It, I like that grindy factor of games and how games do it now. Some people don't. Some people just want to have all the items and just have them unlocked. And that gives you the option. But that's just something that they choose to do. It's all in the game. You can unlock everything, pretty simple, but some people just want it to be in their hands and they they don't mind spending the extra money to
to unlock it. Now, for me, I hardly ever buy anything in a game. The most you'll ever see me purchase in games is vanity items, like the ghillie top, right? But besides that, I hardly ever purchase anything else in a game. It's just, I just don't feel a need to. A game like this, you really don't need to. Everything is already in the game, and all you have to do is farm for it. But some people don't want to do that, and that's why I call this choose the way you want to play. Some people feel that purchasing things is how they want to play. They want to purchase things. They they don't want to have to farm it, and they just want to go in the game and have fun. Other people like me just like the grind. They like to look for items. They like to find these items. They like to level up. They like to find blueprints. They like to unlock weapons, unlock attachments, and that's how I like to play. And then some people want a little bit of both. So give people the option, right? Like give people the option. If they want to purchase things, as long as it's already in the game and it's not affecting something in PvP where you're playing against other players and giving them an advantage, then I don't see a problem with it. Now, if for some reason there was weapons that were so good, they were so good that they just dominated in PvP and it was such a rare chance that people were purchasing it so they could have that advantage, then I would see something wrong there. Or if gear really mattered and then you could purchase the highest, best gear, best armor sets and it hardly ever dropped, I would see that be an issue. But, so I don't know what you guys really think about this microtransaction. I know a lot of people are just kind of like jumping on a bad wagon, I think. I, I feel like people don't really know um, the transactions that you can get. And I feel that people see videos and they don't understand that most of the stuff that you can get it's in the game and then people just make videos on videos because let's be honest it was really good clickbait if you put anything nowadays with pay to win call of duty you put you will get views it's just the way the game works on youtube right now i don't know what it is about youtube but if you cause drama on youtube you will get views it's just i guess people of our generation like drama and pay to win's a big topic right now and microtransactions is one of those and if you can talk or start some kind of drama with microtransactions everybody wants to read about it everybody and i feel that so many people jumped on the bandwagon without really knowing about it like you can unlock everything in the game and f that's where i didn't see a problem like if you couldn't unlock it and you can only purchase it i don't know like vanity items you can always purchase no matter what um camel skins all that can be purchased in game and that's always been like that so i don't know what you guys think about it i personally think it's choose the way you want to play if somebody wants to purchase something that's you can get in the game then i don't see an issue with it unless it's something that's so rare so hard that's going to give them an advantage but nothing in this game is super rare and it's so easy to find these blueprints i'm even putting out a lot of videos on them so if you guys want to see how to get the blueprints I'll be dropping videos all week long. And I really don't know what else to really talk about this topic because I think I made my point and I was just really tired, really tired of... Anytime I would post a Ghost Recon Breakpoint video because I enjoy the game, they would be like, oh, why are you playing this game? It's microtransaction. Or if I would do a tips and tricks on how to get something, oh, you can just buy it. And you would think these were like 10 year old kids, 11 year old kids. No, this is grown ass men in the comments talking about this with no real background information on the topic they're talking they watched one youtube video or they read one article and there's some kind of expert on microtransaction or they haven't even logged into gross recon breakpoint themselves they saw someone post one clip on it and were like this is all this game is about when in reality this game you can get every single item without purchasing one item that's where I don't have an issue with this game. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think this game is pay to win or do you think this game is choose the way you play like I said? I hope you guys who haven't had a chance to play this game or if you're you're kind of like on the fence but you don't know, make the decision for yourself. Remember gaming should be fun, always 100% fun and as long as it's fun and you're enjoying the game, then enjoy it and always make a sound decision based on your opinion don't listen to all of these bigger youtubers don't listen to all of these smaller youtubers don't listen to me make the decision for yourself do the research for yourself play the game don't play the game but make it based on your decision 
and not a bandwagon decision listening to everybody else all the noise around ghost recon breakpoint because if you can ignore the noise the game is actually pretty fun i'm gonna wrap up this video i hope you guys have a beautiful week thank you guys again for all the support but until the next ghost recon breakpoint video nothing but skills out